guys, today we're going to talk about how to dress with a tummy. Yes, I might be small, but I still have a tummy. So you could have a stomach, a tummy, and it could be for any reason whatsoever. It could be any figure type. It could be whether you're tall or short or short-waisted or long-waisted. It really doesn't matter. It could be from surgery. It could be from many different factors. But today I want to show you from a designer standpoint how to dress properly with a tummy or a little protruding stomach. I am not a stylist. I am a designer and I think differently. And I've created garments specifically to hide my own tummy. So I want to show you my tricks and how it's done. Let's get started. Okay guys, so we're not going to talk about it as far as shapewear. We're not going to use that trick because in certain body types, especially my own, that never really works. It just makes you look like a, like a stuffed squash, so like my mother would say. So we're not going to talk about shapewear, but I will tell you guys that it's hugely important is your undergarments. You need a really good fitting bra, that's a whole nother video, and you need underwear that at least has some kind of control that will at least go above the fullest part of your stomach. Don't mistake that. You need to have proper underwear, but we're not gonna talk about shapewear. And then I'm gonna get to the clothing and show you in the four main categories, which would be dresses, tops, bottoms, jeans, and what to avoid. We know that the problem we're trying to solve today is the tummy. So the first thing I want to ask you to think about is what are my assets? I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and see the things that you do like about yourself that you know you'd like to flaunt or you'd like to show off more. It could be your neck. It could be your arms, it could be your legs, any part of your body. I want you to focus on what that is when you're dressing and so you'll be able to navigate what I'm saying and use it to your benefits because we want to emphasize what looks good about your body and we want to decrease what you're not happy about. Let's get to the clothing and show you the different types of clothing that could work for a protruding tummy. All right, tops, guys. No t-shirts are created equal. I'm wearing my actual designer t-shirt. This is a specially designed t-shirt that I've done in 100% cotton with no spandex, which also can camouflage a tummy. And this actually is a pattern of mine that I have on my website. So I just wanted to mention that as well. So you don't want to, you don't want to wear a t-shirt that is sheer fabric or has a ton of spandex and just push it over your tummy like that. Let's go with tops. The shirt waist tops usually are the one of the best ways of camouflaging a bad tummy. You don't want it to be too oversized. You want it to be just enough where it doesn't make you look pregnant, but it goes scantily over a bottom that you should be more fitted. So this top is one of my favorites. And um, this is another top that is also a favorite. And what's nice about this top is because I have a nice lower neckline so it's showing another asset and it also has a little bit of ruching here on the side which camouflages further. Like I said you don't want oversized and too balloony. You want it just to be slightly oversized to scant over the fullest part of your body with the shirt. And that's why I've even made my blouse design. When I, when you have gathering here, which I have, this is also one of my designs, it is not so full on the bottom. You don't want it to be too full, but you don't want it to, to actually cinch. You want it to just scant over the belly and go beyond to show shape underneath. As far as fitted tops, you want to have, if you can, this is a double layered top. And the double layers help to conceal 
the tummy as much as possible, especially if you are using a top with spandex, and then accenting other areas that you want to showcase. It could be your chest area, or your arms, or your neck. This is a sheer top, and but it doesn't have any spandex, and it has fullness on the top, which balances me out because I'm a rectangle. If I was very broad on top, this might not be the best solution, but because I'm not, making it broader on top then gives you the illusion of less fullness or less going on at the abdomen area. So this is another top. This is one of my three-way top, actually. It's also a pattern that's on my website. Just in case you don't know, my name is Susan Elias, and I have an extensive channel on fashion design. And if you're liking what you're seeing, come on board, guys, and subscribe and check out my channel. So I just wanted to put that plug in and like this video and comment. I want to hear from you guys. So the cow neck top is another top of mine also that is really good because it accentuates the part that I do want to show off and it just scantily goes over softly on the hips. Peasant tops can be helpful but they cannot be too full and they cannot be too long. What happens is it starts to look like a maternity top so you have to make sure that it's cropped just in the right spot where it hides the fullest part of your tummy but yet is not too full to make it look like you're actually concealing something bigger. I always have a very close fitting top that I can just tuck into something or wear to show definition on the top part of my body to camouf and then to camouflage the bottom part of my body. So now we're going to get into pants. And the biggest pet peeve I have with somebody who has a tummy is belt loops. Just find pants that don't have belt loops or make pants that don't have belt loops. And that's what I've done. So this is part of my design again. This is the, my pant design pattern sloper. And I made this with a crossover here for um, the tummy. And then I also gave it a little bit of a flare on the bottom. Sometimes if you, if you do that, it can also balance what's missing on the top part. So that also works. And like I said, pants that are stretchy, that have a waist cinching band, like something like this, that will just give a smooth fit finish on the body itself. So I have tons of that. That's what I actually film in. I no longer use shapewear underneath because it pushes it in other areas and makes it uncomfortable to film. So I always just wear things that have this band and you can get them now in cool colors and patterns. All right, let's get to the jeans. No, you don't want mom jeans. You don't want it all the way up past your waist. It'll make your tummy look bigger. I repeat, it will make your tummy look bigger. The key is to find the right height of the jean that will not go all the way to the top unless you have an hourglass figure. If you have an hourglass figure, that could possibly work if you go all the way up. But for me, I want to go to almost where the fullest part ends on my tummy. So you want your jeans to fit around three to four inches below your waist, but not further down than that. And another trick is you don't want it to be too tight and it can't be too boxy. You don't want boyfriend jeans. You don't want jeans with very, very large belt loops when you're dressing. The closer you have to your legs, the more it's going to show the definition of your assets, so to speak. And for me, it's my legs. So I would want to show that as slim as possible and then just a boxier top on top. Also with tops, over tops can be a really good camouflage. These like over tops, if you feel uncomfortable, you can put them on 
and they can hide a tummy as well. All right, let's get to dresses. A wrap dress is your friend. You want a wrap dress, and this is one of my collection pieces too, with I put the wrap dress, and I even have a panel here that I've doubled as a designer so that it cinches you at the waist and camouflage. And the reason why this works too, it's not just a wrap dress, it has a slight A-line. You want your dress to have a slight A-line. Flowy dresses that have a tie for definition underneath and has overlays that are asymmetrical or symmetrical. Overlays that just hide a little bit of the tummy, but not so much that it cups underneath the tummy. A-line, or we call them fit and flare. Again, it looks like a faux wrap dress, but you've got structure which is right underneath the breast and then you've got this little flowy skirt in the a-line it's very camouflaging for a stomach ruching ruching put with a wrap dress also works well any kind of flounce that you have that could hide the, the most protruding part of your tummy also works Again, the fit and flare, this is one of my favorite dresses because it just goes over it, it doesn't cinch, and then you've got the A-line with a little bit of fullness here, so it sort of has a soft gathered look. Ruching, but not necessarily ruching over the tummy. People say that that, that does work. I think it never works. Ruching in other areas. This is a flat panel that is doubled. This is again one of my designs. And the ruching comes from the side panels to the back. And it really cinches and accentuates the back side of you as well. So it camouflages and also gives you an extra layer of protection in the front with having a double layer front. Baby doll. Baby doll is a, a, a favorite of mine because it, I'm accentuating the legs and I have my fit and flare or my, or my A-line to it. And because it's super short, it then shows the flowiness of the legs and which camouflages and takes away from you looking at the tummy. Blazers. Blazers, if they are straight, you don't want it to go too far in. You want more of a boxier type of blazer where it will then just camouflage where the tummy is like that and not add to you. You also want it to have as much of a plunge as possible, whether you wear something under it that's lower or not, because then your eye will then give you the illusion of um, more of a hourglass figure, but yet still hiding the tummy. So it's really the cut of a garment that can make a huge difference. What to avoid? Belts. I don't care if they're skinny, they're fat, they're wraparound, just avoid belts. Avoid tucking things in, avoid large balloony tops, and avoid any kind of top that cups underneath the belly, creating it, in which, which actually will make it showcase more. So you wanna cut it off so the length of the top matters. I hope you love this video. I'd love to hear your insight on how you dress for your tummy and so you can help others on this platform and get the conversation going guys. I would love it. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.